Hello everyone, this is Carsten from Wolfstore 286 Masters of the Universe and Toys related channel stuff. Welcome to a new Masters memorabilia uh, webcast. Today we have something very special. It is a 1985 Masters of the Universe promotional toy magazine, which Mattel released in Germany um, to get those figures promoted. Um, this is the number one edition which you're seeing right now and um, well it's uh, they used to uh, publish it to promote the toys and uh, you would be able to get it for free um, uh, in the toy stores actually let me show you the back of this number one edition which was released in 1985 there's some nice stuff um, basically you could see at one point um, the way the story is told um, that they're telling basically how the good and bad ones uh, are doing in uh, Eternia, uh, how the story plot is. Something nice is uh, you can basically see here the dealer stamp. Actually, a dealer, a toy deal dealer, would actually put his his address and his, his opening hours in here. And if you came to actually uh, like something you see in the catalog, you would actually go to that local toy store in your little village um, or city and buy that. And for those collectors of you of yours, I have a very nice uh, detail. I actually noticed in that cut-off module here that this modular photographed here has some pinkish limbs. You can see here in the arms and and the claw seems to be kind of a prototype figure that actually made it into the catalog here but this is not about monologue this is about the catalog and let's start with the first pages as you can see i put some marks in here so i get remembered what i want to tell you guys um first two pages you can see on the left basically is the it's just the first issue of this magazine. Uh, it's the intro to the to the storyline of Masters of the Universe in a written form, and it basically tells uh, kids or told kids um, what's going on, who's Skeletor, who's He-Man, uh, what's Eternia, and all that stuff. And it basically prompts you at this point get into the world of the giants, and uh, it, it, get, it, it was. They wanted to make easy to get into the world of the giants by reducing a double pack, two figure pack featuring an audio tape, which would basically get you the main protagonists being He-Man and Skeletor along with uh, audio tape that would introduce you to the storyline at a, or how it's set here, some günstigen combi price at a very good uh, double pack price. And um, that's thing here you see has a high value among collectors at least in germany if you get it uh, originally packed um, i think it's in the hundreds these days and at that time um, almost all kids basically had it and um, by the time i can very much recommend those audio tapes this is the first edition from german audio studio Air europa and they made it 45 um, minute story which was called Sternenstaub which is called Stardust in English. Well, then let's go on to the next side, next pages. Oh, one of my reminders. And here we have um, basically, this is the way the whole catalog is like structured. You have like a photo of a diorama kind of setup of where figures and playsets are always always placed and you would get the names of uh, the figures next to the figure himself what was really striking is that with each toy magazine promotion magazine there was a whole storyline told like a little story beginning from start to the end and they would basically include description of the figures what they actually the action features were but um, it would tell a whole story throughout the whole magazine for example this one starts here captured in snake mountain it says and alongside it's the storytelling the figures are explained and on the left side for example um, you would be able to 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 get to know what this orco guy does if you put a pull cord in there and like pull it out quickly um, that guy would dance 
Well, um, let's go on to the next side. There's so much to explore. Our oh, beautiful Snake Mountain, like fresh out of the box, shiny thing. Very nice Photogra photography, if you ask me. By the way, you see that this basically is the it's a background picture. They, they place they this place at and the figures and um, take to take a photo took a photo of it. This is going on through all the magazines who were released consequently until 1988 and I think what is really great they got more and more elaborate and creative and, and, and with different kind of tricks and handmade tricks in there and I'm, I hope at a later point of time I will be able to do another video about this um, toy magazines if you like so. If you like so by the way you can please let me know in the comments or um, have a thumbs up uh, for me uh, so I know there's interest there for these kinds of um, memorabilia stuff so I may can maybe do another video about another magazine on the on the bottom left you can basically see um, how how it's explained how that wolf head microphone thing is working with snake mountain very nice feature and let's go on we have uh, as I was saying, the, the different vehicles are introduced alongside the story which is told here. Kind of a read-along story. So this on this side, we on this page, we have the Roton and the Battle Bones explained, and it says, "Bringt Battle Bones den Sieg." Does Battle Bone lead us to victory? And the story unfolds. And here we have a nice one. Um, we have the Battle Bones. Um, uh, actually there and I th very much like that the, the effect already did it they did it some 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 fog fog here so it would look, look kind of mystery and great kind of color writing uh, with the background and stuff you would see the Cobra Khan action fiction figure explained here unfortunately I forgot to uh, uh, put uh, an armor to claw for in that picture but what was really striking for some of you guys uh, might notice here is that the Triclops um, sword actually has a black handle to it. I have never came across a Triclops sword who actually has one, so I wonder how that happened. Maybe one of you guys uh, are very much into that variant thing and can tell us uh, in the comment section below how that actually uh, happened. So let's skip on to the next page. We have a very nice vehicle set up here. So like they actually did a very nice job with the photography. As you have the background, you have like kind of a foam kind of um, mountain set up and you have the different kind of vehicle set up here. You have a flying wind radar and um, it's explained how the the vehicle, the road trooper works that you pull in the cord and you pull it out and it will go fast in your kinderzimmer, in your child uh, playing room. And all these features are explained here in within that text, um, what basically these vehicles can do and it's embedded within that storyline I was talking um, earlier about. And that so it's just description it's like woven into the storyline which was when I was a kid was really amazing because you wouldn't just get like promotion I mean you would basically could tell pro what, what promotion is but you would basically get a read along kind of Masters of the Universe storyline book so let's go on oh nice one here we have um, the the dragon walker and what I very much liked about this one is that you have the dragon walker well, and at that time, back in the 1985s, well, you hadn't, didn't have YouTube or like uh, in Germany, for example, there were rarely any like commercials. So you wouldn't basically be able to know what this vehicle thing could do. You couldn't just go into the toy store and unpack it and try it out. So they were really, I think, creative about that and made like a, a picture uh, still shot storyline back here in which basically you would be able to tell that uh, the dragon walker would actually drove down here and like flip over and like this the wiggle would be moving so i very much like that and remember having this issue back in the back in the day and i was flipping it through and looking at this kind of thumbnail story picture storyboard picture over and over again 
and um, imagining how that thing would work. And I think that's a very really great example of that. If you, uh, how written or photographed material can really make things work in your imagination. Just wanted to get that off my head for you. Oh, okay, there's another reminder. A flap for me. What does it say? It basically says that I'm supposed to tell you. Like, I would like to tell you, have a look at that great, 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 great um, photo cafe. Um, that they arranged a diorama kind of thing in which you have like fog and different figures and the, basically the storyline here tells how um, Skeletor to, uh, manages to get over that creek here by using Webster's spider hook. So it gets basically hooked on the other side of the mountain and basically there's a, like a drawbridge kind of thing in which Skeletor uh, makes it over the creek and he's awaited by Dragon Walker He-Man. And this is all told here in the in the storyline. So very nice if you ask me. Let's continue. And here we have another nice setup of the evil figures within that line. Uh, very nice setup with some painted lighting, lightning in the background and like the foam made kind of mountain and which is really that fits in nicely. Let's go on. Another kind of grayskull shot. Very nice to actually have an idea of the castle, how it looks. There's like a small interior thumbnail in which basically is explained that you can open a drawbridge, that you can actually, um, what you can actually do with it. It's very nice, uh, nice setup. Con continue talking about nice. In those magazines, they would not only like promote figures and um, do promotion, but they also had like some nice fun stuff, if you ask me. Um, because, um, for example, they would have some trick things like magicians which kids, kids could learn and uh, show to their friends. And it says here, this is from Orko's magician trick cradle in which you can learn stuff, him being the magician. Also over here, there's a kind of maze game in which you're supposed to take He-Man through that maze using your pen so he can basically get to Snake Mountain. And why would he do that? Because you see little Tila on the, on the lower right here because uh, he's basically supposed to go to um, Snake Mountain to free um, Tila. Very nice. I mean, this is like 80s fun. Analog fun. I very much uh, like this stuff. As you can see, there's you know, my pencil drawings. I obviously didn't manage or didn't have the didn't have the the, the energy that day to follow through. So basically, Tila was never saved. Uh, okay, this is a very nice one because um, it basically shows, being a promotional magazine, what the world of masses of the universe, at least in Germany at that time was having uh, else, in, um, not only figures, but they would basically have a whole bunch of um, of stuff for, um, you could buy um, from the masses of the universe, um, yeah, 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 universe. And um, left side you can basically see they had like text read-along books, 40 pages books, uh, hardcover books with a front illustrated cover and um, in the inside there were illustrations with like storylines. I think they were pretty simple storylines, simple but nice storylines, like the Iron Giant or He-Man and the monster Castle Grayskull is in danger and stuff like that. Really nice read along stuff if uh, if you happen not happen to have the chance to read the uh, to see the, 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 the information movie uh, series. And they came at a good price at that time with three marks, 95 pfennig, which is about, please mind my very uh, daring conversation rate, about f um, two euros or around about two dollars in today's pricing. And on the right side, you can see um, the comics they released here. They were Interparts comic. This was a German company. Very nice colored. Uh, comics at that time, fully colored comics uh, in the inside, and they were released like monthly or bi monthly. You could buy them along with those 
um, audio tapes, audio plays. I was talking earlier about that. There were like back up around about 40 audio tapes in the end. And um, and also the, the video tapes, which was basically the filmation cartoon released on uh, video tapes back here. Well, this is so much about the promotional stuff and about there's this is also a really nice thing here. They actually uh, put in some very short comic strips in that promotional Mattel magazines, um, which were, I think, exclusively drawn for that. And they weren't released um, anywhere else. And they were pretty like two, three, four pages um, uh, story, right? like simple storylines like this one in which um, Skeletor actually captured Man at arms, so He Man would come to save him, and there was like a brawl, little fight going on with characters like Cobra Khan and the Wind Rider. So they would introduce the vehicles here as well, and you can see He Man coming with the Wind Rider and many faces fighting Roton, uh, uh, Skeletor, and there's like some fight going on. I can't really tell who the who the artist of this comic is. It's nowhere depicted, but well, I think it looks nice. I liked it at, at that time. And you can basically see that um, the fight, of course, heroes, uh, he man saves the day and they fly off and the skeletal yells from the, from the bottom, I will take revenge. Well, and it ends then. And talking about the end, we're almost at the finish of this little promotional magazine tour but I have something nice uh, for the the end um, also there was also a sweepstakes prize thing in which you could like um, do something draw something or answer a quiz question then you basically you get to some like prizes to win and you were supposed to send that in it shows you at the bottom um, till December 31st 1985 so some 35 years ago but you could win great prizes like 30 of those masters of the universe pinball machines actually uh, i used to own one of those pinball machines um, a couple of years ago but it was like so worn um, and so rusted that i actually had, um, had to sell it because it wasn't really working anymore but it was really fun back in the day you like really wanted to have this pinball machine um, was which is a really nice one you would put that on the table and well you could play it like the pinball machine i mean the 1980s and pinball that like, almost sounds like a synonym doesn't it well um i was talking about the end and there we are and basically uh the magazine is over this was the first um issue of the 1985 german toy um, promotional magazine released here in germany which you will get basically for free once you enter the toy stores and uh, watching the uh, Masters of the Universe aisle. So um, I hope you liked the tour. I hope you, you liked uh, that the memorabilia kind of insights I uh, was presenting to you. If so, please give me a, th a thumb up. And um, and if you're interested to, to, uh, to, to, to know more um, about the other magazines, they're like subsequent magazines featuring all new figures and new kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. And then I'll be happy to do another video these days. So thank you folks for joining in. May the power of grace be with you and um, happy to see you the next time tuning into one of my videos. Bye bye.